Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today we're gonna to use these to make the cotton candy margarita. But first, this. So I was gonna give you the history of St. Valentine's Day, but in fact, I'm gonna give you the history of cotton candy. And as we note, it comes to us from 1897 from Nashville of all places. Now, William Morrison and John C. Wharton invented an electric machine that allowed crystallized sugar to be poured onto a heated spinning plate pushed by centrifugal force through a series of tiny holes. Now in 1904, at the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, Morrison and Wharton sold the product of what they called fairy floss, and they sold it in cardboard boxes for 25 cents per serving. That was the price of half the admission of the fair itself, and they sold 68,000 plus boxes. But more importantly, it is Valentine's Day, and I have the perfect cocktail for you to make for your special other, your other, or just someone you care about. Could even be your pets, but I wouldn't suggest giving this to your pets. But maybe you could give it to me. All right, so let's make a cotton candy margarita. So the first thing we need, of course, is our mixing glass. The next thing we need is some tequila, and I've got some 1800 silver tequila here. Whoa, I'll, do, I'll find that later. So what we need here is 60 milliliters or two ounces. The next thing that we need is some lime juice. And here we've got lime juice. All right. So we need an ounce and a half of limes or lime juice or 45 mils. And this looks counterintuitive. We're putting something kind of sour in here, but this will help balance it out. And the next thing we need, of course, is some cream soda. And I need four ounces of cream soda. And I'm using a crushed cream soda. This tells you where I live in the area. And four ounces works out to 120 milliliters. Now, how are we gonna mix this, you say? Well, I'm gonna shake it. But one of the things you have to remember is that you're gonna get a little bit of a pressure blowback because of the carbonation inside the, uh, inside the soda. So, I'm gonna roll this. That'll help get rid of some of the uh, carbonation. Slam it down. And make sure that you hold on to this tight and you have the big end out towards you because you want to make sure that if anything happens, you get it to, your, to you. You don't want to get it on your special other. And we'll do this for about 10 seconds. All right, so you got to see what I was talking about there. We get a little bit of the... Uh, uh, the expansion of gases from the carbonation from the soda. So the next thing, or the first thing that we need is a glass. And we're going to use a margarita glass. All right. And of course I need cotton candy. And you don't want to have a lot of cotton candy. You want to have enough, but you want it to be light and fluffy. I'll put, oh, hmm, cotton candy, oh, you just can't go wrong. Mm. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to pour this directly under the cotton candy. I'm using my julep strainer because I've left my Hawthorne strainer somewhere. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a little bit of melt from the cotton candy. And it looks gorgeous, it really does. And you know what? Here, have some more cotton candy. Look at that, absolutely a gorgeous drink. Oh, looks good, smells good. I can smell the cotton, the strawberry cotton candy, of course. All right, I just I, you know, can't have enough of this. Mm. You got the sweetness from the crush. You can taste the tequila. 
and you've got uh, the lime juice and it's giving you a gorgeous, gorgeous taste. And of course you've got this chaser that you can feed to your uh, special other. Mm. Mm -mm. That mm, is a good drink. Mm. Perfect for you and your special other. Hell, perfect for just yourself. If you're having Valentine's Day alone, have one have one of these. Better yet, invite a friend over and have one of these. But if this is your, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredient list and the method of how to make this down in the uh, uh, ingredient down in the description down below. But this, if this is your first time to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we place a video, you will get notified. But if you didn't like this video and you don't like cotton candy, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time. All right, so I was going to give you the history of Valentine's Day, but who cares? Let's give you the history of cotton candy as we know it. And it comes to us from 19, fuck, 1897. And you're gonna pour this on here slowly. I'm gonna have to make another copy of this trick the thumbs down button twice and we'll see you next time mm. Mm. oh that's good <laughs> wow